Hello, I'm Carolina Boyd, Communications Associate at Legacy Community Health. Syphilis can cause serious health problems for anyone who contracts it, but it can be especially dangerous during pregnancy when it can be easily transmitted to your baby. Today, I'm talking to Dr. Sulika Pearson about syphilis during pregnancy and how it can lead to congenital syphilis. Welcome, Dr. Pearson. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Carolina. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to be here to discuss this very important topic. Let's start off by talking about the basic question here. What is syphilis? Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection spread through unprotected sex or intimate physical contact with someone who is infected. It causes sores on the genitals that are usually painless but can easily spread. Many people may not realize they have the disease if they do not notice any sores or if they feel fine. What are the risks associated with syphilis during pregnancy? Syphilis can be a very serious problem when you are pregnant. When syphilis is passed to a baby during pregnancy, it's called congenital syphilis. Most of the time, syphilis is passed from mom to baby during pregnancy, but it can happen when the baby is born if there is direct contact with the syphilis sore. The Houston Health Department has recently found some very disturbing data. They recently released data showing that in Harris County, fetal deaths from congenital syphilis have increased from four in 2019 to 14 in 2020, which is a 250% increase. All fetal deaths were among Black and Hispanic women, which highlights the disparities in testing and treatment in these groups. And more babies are born with congenital syphilis in Houston than in any other part of Texas. And according to the Centers for Disease Control, or the CDC, Texas ranked number one in the country in congenital syphilis cases in 2019. What health problems are associated with congenital syphilis? So health conditions can include miscarriage, stillbirth, premature birth, low birth weight, and death shortly after birth. Babies born with congenital syphilis can have deformed bones, severe anemia, enlarged liver or spleens, and can even be born deaf or blind. How is syphilis treated during pregnancy? If you're diagnosed with syphilis during pregnancy, it's important for both you and your baby that you seek treatment right away. The sooner you are treated, the less likely you and your baby are to have complications from the infection. The current standard of care treatment of syphilis acquired during pregnancy is penicillin. And if you have a penicillin allergy, you will have to undergo a procedure in the hospital that will allow for you to be treated with penicillin as it is the only medication that can cross over through the placenta to treat your baby. In addition, you want to make sure your partner is also being treated for syphilis so that the two of you don't pass syphilis back and forth to each other. So what can you do to protect your baby from congenital syphilis? all pregnant women should be tested for syphilis early in pregnancy. In fact, in Texas, it is the law that syphilis screening is done three times, during the first prenatal visit, during the third trimester of pregnancy, and at delivery. Talk to your legacy OBGYN or provider. Our team of professionals provide diagnosis, treatment of sexually transmitted infections, and educational programs focused on prevention. You can call our number at 832-548-5000 to schedule an appointment, or you can log on to our website. Well, Dr. Pearson, thank you so much for joining us today. You've provided a lot of great information for our viewers. Thank you for having me. It's been my pleasure. And to our viewers, please keep checking back with us here at Legacy Community Health to hear more information on various topics from our Legacy Community Health providers. Thank you. 